This is from the USA Today Sports in their AFC playoff predictions. So uh, they have the Chiefs, number one seed, 13 and four. They have the Jets, 12 and five. Super Bowl winners over the Packers, which, okay. Uh, Colts, three. Bengals, four. Bills, five. Jaguars, six. And the Browns, seventh um, in the AFC. In the North, they have the Bengals winning the division. The Browns finishing second ahead of the Ravens and Steelers with the Ravens and the Steelers missing the playoffs. Uh, I, the, the AFC North, I think, is is brutal, and and I think you could argue any of those four teams could finish first, and any of those four teams could finish fourth. And, and based on what your biases are, you, you could have a discussion about it. Yeah, this is. I mean, the division's absolutely brutal. Like, I do feel bad for for Browns fans because they've you know, this team has put out so much great talent that it feels like if they were in like any other division uh they would have at least been able to have a little bit more postseason success a little bit more hope but it's just it, it's it's brutal it's brutal every single year and it's going to be this upcoming season now i think the steelers are the most likely team to probably finish in the back uh, of the division at number four just because there's uncertainty at quarterback but certainly if russell wilson is able to bounce back with arthur smith as his offense coordinator now in pittsburgh uh we know that mike tomlin ain't gonna go away quietly right he has yet to finish with a below 500 record in his career as a head coach. So we know that they're going to be a solid team at the very worst or an annoying team, maybe for certainly the other teams in the AFC North. But yeah, I, it's, it's sort of a coin flip. I, I think that it, unfortunately, I know Browns fans are sick of hearing this, but their ceiling is just what Deshaun's ceiling is. If we see Houston Texans, Deshaun Watson, yeah, I think this team is absolutely a front runner to win this division and make a deep playoff run. But if we don't, uh, then certainly the teams of Baltimore and Cincinnati could overtake them. And maybe they're still getting a wild card spot as that third best team in the division, a team to win 10 games, maybe 11 games, something like that. But uh, the ceiling is just going to go as their quarterback goes. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, and health will always play a factor because the physical nature that all of these teams play with as well. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's it's tough. Every single divisional game, I think, for every team in the league is always sort of you, you circle it a little bit on your calendar. But it just feels like there's so much history between all of these teams every year. Like they just they they do have this like old school, almost college football rivalry type of a feel. I feel as though the NFC North is one of the few divisions in the NFL where you get sort of that's that that long history rivalry with a lot of these teams so yeah there's there's no doubt about it that that i think that these teams are always going to give each other their best because uh there's a lot of pride on the line when these teams match up